Hello and welcome to channel Unlocks Hub. This is the most awaited video of the year 2021. Many of you were asking us to make a video on the iPhone 12 series. The software testing is now complete and we are ready to demonstrate it for you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. If you need the package, mail us on our mail address given in the video description. If you have any doubts or questions, kindly ask in the comment section. Let's begin this video. This is an iPhone 12 mini, which is currently iCloud activation locked. You can see that this phone is currently iCloud locked and this is an iPhone 12 mini running on iOS 14.2. I'll be uh, removing the iCloud lock permanently and updating it to iOS 14.4 which is the latest iOS version from Apple. Let's begin the process. To do that first you have to put the device into DFU mode. Just follow the on screen instructions or follow the video. This is an iPhone 12 mini. First press the volume up button once, volume down and hold the power button until the device turns off. Now press and hold the volume down with the power button. Let go of the power button after about 5 seconds. No problem. Uh, let's try once again. Press the volume up, volume down and the power button. Now press the volume down. You need to try a bit to get into DFU mode. This is a bit tricky. Press volume up, volume down and the side button. Now let's try it a bit differently. Volume down plus power for 5 seconds. Let go of the power button, keep pressing the volume down button. And the phone is now in DFU mode. You can see that here DFU mode and iPhone 12 mini. It is the same phone with which I started this video. Before I tell you what to do next, I would like to thank all our subscribers for supporting this channel and a big thank you for all our testing members who test our software and report bugs. Thank you all once again. Let's begin the video. Click on the query compatible SHSH option. So once that is completed, click on the import firmware option and select the Unlocks Hub iOS 14.4 iPhone 12 mini IPSW, click open and here you get three options which is the quick flash mode, retain users data and anti-recovery flash mode. So the first mode quick flash mode will erase everything like the save passwords data everything this will retain your user data for example if i click this i don't have to type in the wi-fi password once again to log in but if i select the quick flash mode option i'll have to select i'll have to type the wi-fi password login password and everything once again so let me just retain users data and show you how it works and let me click on the flash option here you get a reminder click on yes and just wait for the IPSW to install completely it says current firmware is unlocks hub iOS 14.4 iPhone 12 mini dot IPSW if you need the files and the package mail us on our mail address given in the video description if you have any doubts or questions kindly ask in the comment section 
click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. We are rolling out the support for iPhone 12 series, the 12, 12 mini, 12 pro, 12 pro max from right now so don't forget to mail us on our mail address given in the video description. Also we'll be adding a whole new set of devices including the latest iPad pros, iPad airs and the latest iPad series. So stay tuned, click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon and get notified as soon as we post a new video.
This whole process takes somewhere around 20-25 minutes, make sure you have enough time to do it. Do not unplug your device at any point of time, make sure you use the original USB cable of the device. Also make sure all the device drivers are installed before starting this procedure. And the installation is now complete, wait for the device to turn on. You can now see that the device is installing something. This is the stage where the iCloud data is loaded back to the device. Make sure your device is still connected. Do not unplug your device. iCloud data is basically stored in the device itself and not somewhere else. So it needs to be reinstalled onto the software which we just now installed. And the phone has now turned on. Let me quickly set up this phone. This is the same iPhone 12 mini with which I started this video. Let's wait for the phone to turn on. Let me quickly set up this phone. Let me set up the Apple ID later. It says welcome to iPhone and swipe up to get started. Let me get inside and show you this is the iPhone mini 12 mini. 
with which I started this video and it is now completely iCloud free. And as I told you, since I retained the user's data, I don't have to put the password for the Wi-Fi once again. So you can just retain the data and keep all your old settings intact without having to damage any of those things. This is the same iPhone mini it is running on iOS 14.4 and you can log in with your own Apple ID and password without any problem. If you like the video click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. If you need the package do mail us on our mail address given in the video description. If you have any doubts or questions kindly ask in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.